So tell me about active faders. When you press active faders, um, effectively, you, you have two channel strips now. You have the digital channel strip, which gives you your plugins. You can add a whole chain of plugins going in. The audio then leaves um, the DAW channel before it hits the fader, and then it goes into the console channel strip. This allows me to then send out to analog reverbs. I can add analog inserts via the 24 inserts we have on the console. So I've got a combination of digital and analog processing going on. And then crucially, with active fader mode, I can automate everything post-processing. So my final level before it hits the mix bus, I have full control and automation capability. And with the faders being controlled in the DAW, can I group the analog faders together? With active fader mode, you have access to all of the powerful features available in whichever DAW you're working with. So if I want to group instruments together, such as you know backing vocal group, or uh, you know, synth group, for example, I can do that easily within the DAW. And this is all happening on my analog layer of the console. Sounds a little bit like flying faders, but everything's stored in my DAW session and it's all recallable. Exactly, everything is located in one easy to access point. So as soon as you open your DAW session, you've got all of your automation lanes for the analog side of the console stored in your DAW.